have a great love of classical art, Baroque art, and when I got the description of it, um, I thought, ooh, I could do a very kind of classical portrait with this one. And so being able to put Mangara in these big, rich robes, I was looking at the sculptor Bernini, I was looking at Caravaggio and Rubens, um, and then there was a portrait by Sargent that I looked at too, where that had just this beautiful fabric flowing around the figure, and I thought, I'm gonna, I want to use this to um, kind of enhance the the gravity of this portrait. You know, um, Mangara is a cool-looking character, and the, they wanted me to age the character up a bit. You know, some time has passed and have him look very stately and, you know, even the name, the diplomat, carries a certain amount of weight to it. Um, so having this rich marble environment that Mangara was sitting in and some props around him like a globe and, and the staff um, lent for a very kind of classical portrait, which I was really happy about. Fantasy is not limited by anyone's skin color, you know, on who can enjoy or love or jump in and, and learn and uh, be entertained by it. So I love that magic is being proactive um, in making sure that anyone who wants to play can find themselves somewhere in the game and not, um, not allowing any uh, stereotypes or that interfere with how characters are represented. Um, everyone, regardless of their background, should have a fair shot at being the main character, at being the planeswalker, at being the hero, um, so that everyone has an opportunity to see themselves in the game. And I think that's a really powerful thing.